What's up and good morning guys, welcome back to another video. I swear every time I film, somebody has their gardener over and we get lawnmower sounds. Now if you guys are like me, you're probably missing some of the, uh, the BBB build content and trust me, I am too. But we've got so much stuff going on, we're trying to get the warehouse set up. Um, I've been staring at a lot of podcast equipment in my office for a long time that I want to move to the warehouse. It was kind of one of the purposes of the warehouse was to have a space to build out a podcast studio. Um, so that's kind of, I think, what we're going to focus on today and a special treat for you guys because not only have you not really seen the Duramax in uh, the last couple videos, but you also haven't seen Dave. So as a treat, we're going to get Dave. We're not going to get the, well, I mean, you got a little bit of the Duramax, but we're not really going to get the Duramax. But we got Dave that we're going to go meet up with at the warehouse right now. And then we're going to go, um, yeah, try and get this whole podcast studio set up. So come along for the ride. Let's go in the 073. And if I'm talking faster than normal, it's because I'm all hopped up on Bang right now. And if you guys have not tried Bang, then oh, this is not a solicited thing, even though I wish Bang would sponsor the channel. I'm telling you guys, go out, get yourself a Bang. This one's my favorite flavor because it doesn't make you blow a bathroom up in 20 minutes like some of the other flavors do. Uh, but yeah, this is good stuff. So can we take a second to talk about the signs on the back of these dump trucks? I know it was a little bit shaky, but that one says, warning, stay back 300 feet, not responsible for broken windshields, right? And kind of in the same way that I tell you guys, if you look like you should be somewhere, nobody's gonna question you. Kind of the way that Dave's been going to the gym for free is like he walks in like he's supposed to be there. Um, doesn't make a big deal about them scanning his ID and walks in and nobody knows the difference. The only way that those things work on the back of those trucks is if you believe it. There's no law, there's no any kind of liability waiver that says, oh, well you were closer than 300 feet to the back of that truck. Uh, so when that rock broke your windshield, they're not liable. No, they're just hoping that when a rock comes off the back of that truck, and breaks your windshield, you're gonna be like, oh man, that sign says not responsible. I was closer than that. I guess it's not their fault, it's mine. Uh, but no, that has no standing, guys. So if your windshield gets broken by a dump truck like that, I mean, number one, it's gonna be hard to prove, but number two, like, don't believe that sign. What is this creepy white van doing in front of my warehouse? And also, the fact that Dave is not standing right here worries me a little bit. Rhonda! Dave? Rhonda, he back the whole way. Dave, did you go? Would you go for a walk? <laughs> no, I'm, uh, you know, I'm selling uh, candy bars. I sold out, but and then there you are, right here. That's crazy. <laughs> you telling me, dude? Like, you had this nice white van, and you're like, I got an idea. I bet nobody's done this before. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell some candy bars out of it. Well, I mean, we sold, we sold fresh out of the chocolate puppies. Oh, okay. That were, uh, that were in the van. I mean, those. Are, I was almost melted. So I took off uh, filming yesterday because I wanted to really get a, a little jump on this painting that we've been doing. As you guys know, we finished the upstairs office um, and you're probably gonna laugh at me when I show you what I did, but I went through and decided I was gonna roll all the walls. cutting in along the ceilings and blah, 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 blah. Got Sam coming back. Uh, I believe tomorrow night he's gonna come and just run through this place and cut in for me. That way I don't have to spend the time doing it. Uh, upstairs office obviously is pretty ready to go. Dave, get up here, buddy. Uh, Dave, Dave's all excited about the basketball hoop. Dave hasn't been up here obviously since it's been painted. So this back wall is going to be podcast. So we need podcast desk. We don't need tape. So if you were desk, sit, sit desk. Oh, is that your microphone? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and what is that, your mixer, DJ? This is the table. Oh, okay, okay. So I think a nice wood top table. Yeah, okay, Dave's uh, podcasting right now. Nice wood top table. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do on the back wall yet. I wanted to brick the whole back wall, but we're not sure if we're gonna do that. So for now, I think if we just get the table, Get all the equipment here, work with that. That'll enable us to start the podcast, and then we'll go from there, start to accessorize. I know some of you guys have said you want to send some stuff for the warehouse. I do have a P.O. box. I'll put it down in the description, and you guys can feel free to, to send us some cool shit. Maybe you got something cool for the backdrop. Maybe you got something cool you just want to display it in here. 
You know, I think it'd be Dave. Oh, Dave, Dave is in a serious argument right now with whoever he's. And that better not be me. That better be the guest. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Flip of the table. Flip of the table, and the podcast is done. Oh, jeez. All right. That's the kind of adrenaline you're going to get on the podcast. Oh, he's walking out. Uh-oh. Well, we didn't even get a first episode, and Dave's already walked out of the podcast. Keep me away from him, man. You don't like you? Fuck that guy. <laughs> Jason. Yeah, guys, this is real. This is real. You're going to get an exciting podcast, I'm telling you. All right, Dave. Hey, Dave. Did, did you find the basketball hoop, Dave? All right, buddy. Let's see it. Dave is excited. Well done, Chris. Well done on the basketball hoop. Everybody that has come over has been really excited about the basketball hoop. Let's see what Dave's got. No offense, Dave. I don't see you as the most basketball playing athletic. Oh, that would have been nice if you made it. All right. Well. Like my problem is I've never been around one. Yeah, okay. You know, like. Yeah. Like, well, hey, uh, we got a whole basketball court now, buddy. Like when I went to when I went to college, we had a ping pong table. Where I li- like, right? Not just at the dorms, but also where I live. So like, you know, whatever kind of smack you want to talk on my basketball game. You saying you're a ping pong? Let's pro? take it to the ping pong table. Well, we do plan on getting a ping pong table here. So uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, we can't leave until you make one. There it is. There it is. I moved some stuff. Look at this oh, nice, yeah, you nice got a trash, trash can, can for you. That's- Really classy, dog. Right? We're just trying to class the place up. Uh, you know, yeah, that I looks good. Like I said, that's some good parking, right? Within reason. Yeah. All right. However, <laughs> it's not the front I'm concerned about. Dude. You worried about this back hanging off 40 feet? Well, about worried. I was worried is a little strong. <laughs> what about what about this shopping cart that's just ghosting across the parking lot? <laughs> I think this is our entrance, right? We're co-workers. I am. Yeah. Huh? All right. <laughs> Doors open. Hide you. <laughs> oh, I hate this place. You what? Yeah, we did. Uh, you came to IKEA to take your family Christmas pictures with a professional photographer, like yeah. not set up through IKEA. We're all dressed in our pajamas, right? and you just came, <laughs> really? And like we had our Christmas portrait shot at uh, yeah, at IKEA. It was that's amazing. amazing. That is amazing. You want? You think we ought to get that black couch? I mean, that is an expensive. For an IKEA couch, buddy, I'm not paying 800 bucks. I mean, we need a black leather couch, but yeah, I don't. I mean, it, it looks the part. I'll give it that. It is a good looking black couch, but I don't know about the tufting. I think the tufting kind of adds to the 70s vibe of it. That we... I do, but it looks like it would be tough to clean. You know, you don't clean the black couch. <laughs> it's like, have you really? learned nothing? Yeah, you don't. 629 dollars. Oh, I don't like that hole in the middle right there. I don't like yeah, the gap. Like. We're gonna we're gonna lose a pen in that or something. Not a bad idea for a desk, but a little low too. Dave? Dave? Run up! Run up, D Max! No way, dude! How are you? Good, good to see you, Dave. Good to see you. Good startled to see you. me, dog. Whoa! Oh, what, was... Were you just watching some TV? Well, no, I was thinking, man. Oh, okay. And then there you are. By the by the by the hue of the lamp. I, I didn't even notice that. That's a pretty good looking lamp. <laughs> All right, through the shortcut, right here. All right. Shortcut. Three kids section. Looking for the office section. Three kids. I don't remember which way to go right. Office, self serve, restaurant, cafe. I don't know. All right, let's try. Let's try going against the arrows. Through, through the kids. Through the kids. Well, the kids can go either way. Oh no, that's the restaurant. All right, I hate IKEA. Have I told you that yet? Still true. I still hate IKEA. Been treating us well so far. All right, fair. Well, I'll be damned, Dave. Looks like we found the office section. <laughs> no, we don't want the black black. Like, I'd rather have this than the black. I'd rather have the Ida Sun. This is a whole desk. I was looking at just tabletops. So if you guys have never been to IKEA, there's like a lot of like. I don't want to say secret passageways, but like ways to cut because they really funnel you one way through the whole store and you got to loop through everything. Uh, but that's one weird. Oh. Dave? 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 What are you? Dave? Again, Dave? Dave, you got to stop this, man. You can't be drinking this stuff all the time over here, buddy. What are you doing? Not man? good, Rhino. Right not good. Come on, Dave. Not good. We're better than this, buddy. I'm just going to leave you here. Why are you here? I'm just leaving you here, Dave. Disgusting, Dave. Disgusting. I can't believe you fell back into the 
Yeah. Uh, what I was Purina. What is it? What, you, what is it? <laughs> Purina. Kirkland. Really? Kirkland? You can't even get something quality. So on our way to the office section, we got stopped by this kitchen counter and cabinet set up here. And it's actually a really cool look that we are going to try and replicate into a desk, I think, um, after we go through 400 books of trying to figure out what the heck pieces go to what, because apparently, like, it doesn't come like this on these back panels. This is a back panel with some doors actually attached to it, and we actually really like that look. I know it's a little bright on camera, but maybe we can dim it down here. But I think we're gonna try and mimic that in our desk. So, if we can find all the freaking pieces we need, and then we're gonna build a two by four frame underneath so we're not getting the whole, you know, cabinet set up because we don't need it. And then that'll enable us to really build out a cool desk and we'll still be able to roll up underneath it. And we'll probably go with a nice coarse countertop. All right, so I think we figured out a inexpensive way to pull this off. Uh, apparently we gotta go somewhere else to pick them up though, even though they got this giant warehouse here. And Dave's got kids. And Dave's got kids to go pick up, so let's buy these things and go figure out how we're gonna go from here. Well buddy, we're gonna drop you off here. Dari, that was, uh, that was great going to Ikea with you, man. Hey, feel free to come back if you want and, and let's put a desk together. Well, back to flying solo. I don't know how Dave does it with the kids and having to like, you know, midday break all the time. It would drive me absolutely nuts. Uh, unfortunately, we were three miles from the warehouse we need to pick up the front panels for the cabinets at, but we had to drive all the way back to the warehouse. Now I gotta drive all the way back to Ikea's warehouse in the middle of rush hour traffic to pick up these panels when we were just right down the street. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta make it work. So that's where we're headed now. Then we're gonna go grab some stuff at Home Depot. Hopefully this doesn't turn into a two-part video, but there's a good chance it's gonna turn into a two-day video. Oh, hey, look, another Ikea. Let's see what we're getting ourselves into. Hey, how's it going, man? Good, how you doing? I gotta hand it to these uber mega corporations like Amazon, Ikea. I mean, it was already there waiting for me when I pulled up. It was already on a cart ready to go. I mean, it's you can't beat the convenience. You know, I'm a big mom and pop small business guy, but I gotta say the infrastructure and the practices that these giant companies have, it's, it's impressive. Since we lost Dave, we gotta carry some pretty big awkward stuff up the up the stairs over there. Let's see if we can pick up one of those guys out front of Home Depot. You know, maybe someone gets some. This guy looks like he wants to work. Let's see what this guy's deal is. Labor. Hey, buddy, how much? Are you doing Max Rhino? Uh, does it get me a discount? For you, free. Oh, dude, get it. Come on in, buddy. So you, you got your, you, like, you know, you know what we're doing? You know how to work? Tools? You got everything? Got my. Oh, you got your work boots? I got my work boots. Oh, dude, let's get this done then. This is seriously like that stupid game on the computer where you gotta like move one thing to get the other out. Really? Really? I win. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Just grab out of the way so I can get my, my lumber cart here. We'll just muscle it out of the way. So you know, one decent thing about Home Depot is when you need plywood ripped, you don't need it to be super specific, like as in you're putting it underneath the countertop. Home Depot is great for that. Just let them rip it, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about the mess. So we can either get plywood and we got to move all these bowed pieces off the top, which I don't think any of us are excited to do. Or we get some OSB and it's already ready for us. What do you think, Chris? You don't, you don't want to move the stuff, huh? All right, we'll go cheap. We'll get the OSB. Oh, I need to get paid. You need to get paid? Yeah. We haven't even started. We talked about helping you carry the wood. Oh, jeez. So we're used to rolling up to places and seeing Dave's creepy white van and it not being creepy, but when you're rolling up to your warehouse and the only thing in the parking lot is a creepy white van, it's kind of creepy. So earlier we lost Dave. And then we had Chris for a minute, but well, now we lost Chris, but we did gain a gunner. All right, buddy, you ready to work tonight? Apparently nobody else wants to work tonight, so it's just me and you, buddy. What do you think of the new place, buddy? Come on, you wanna go check out the warehouse? Let's go check out the warehouse. Oh, what do you think about the warehouse? I know, right? So much roof for activities, gunner. 
Get him, Doug. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. I'll just wait. At some point, he's going to spot the basketball. Watch. Oh, there it is. There it is. He spotted it. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's not for you. No, hey, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest. Oh, what are you, you decided to come help, buddy? Oh no, I just... Oh, you're just, just in the neighborhood? Just in the neighborhood. Me. I do like how you show up like the second after I'm done unloading. Why do you think I showed up late? Yeah, good timing, good timing. Now the good thing is Chris showed up just in time to move the big piece up the stairwell. Good thing we're not done painting. Oh yeah, no problem. No problem. All right, so here's what we're trying to decide. Obviously, we want this to be the backdrop of the podcast. Now, do we want the desk to be like desk ways? Like sideways, right? And we face you guys kind of like newscasters. But mind you, like we're supposed to be talking to ourselves or to each other, to our guests. Okay, let's try. This is option one. I'm gonna move this tape out of the way. Let's do option two. And this is off of this wall. End piece there. Now, in this option, we'll have the overhang of the countertop over here as well as here, right? So basically, we're gonna be sitting facing the guests or each other. We can have a real conversation facing each other. It kind of makes sense we can throw a camera over there or a camera over there. I don't know. Oh boy, you got your keys? Come on, buddy. Bring it over. Bring it over. Good boy, right? Good boy. Just like that. And we got ourselves a podcast desk. We just need to attach those panels. I need to get some little angle brackets to attach them from the back. So we want it to be removable because you never know when this is either gonna have to come apart or it's gonna have to move or if we decide to do something on here, you know, you never know. So uh, instead of just trying to like finish nail it in or shoot it from the backside, uh, we're gonna make it removable. But this gives you the gist of it for now. Then we gotta get the countertop. We're gonna go with a quartz countertop, which Again, might be overkill, but I think it's gonna be a, a nice touch, right, Chris? It's gonna look good. All right, let me try it out. Let me try it out again. Now that we're all set up. Oh yeah. Well, that's all we got for tonight, guys. Uh, I think we made some decent progress considering how late in the day we got started. Tomorrow we're gonna get the quartz countertops put in, and then all it is is really move all the podcast equipment here, and we are ready to get podcasting and I hope you guys are really excited for the work for podcast because we are truly stoked and really excited just to see what we can bring to the table you know and hopefully you guys are involved and hopefully you guys enjoy it so with that I'm gonna wrap up this video as always thank you guys so much for watching if you have not subscribed to my channel please click the subscribe button now that we do not want to on any future content especially you know currently our warehouse build that we are working on 
Don't forget to give this video a like, aka a thumbs up, because we got Chris and Dave in it again. I know, it doesn't happen very often. Don't forget to check out WorkForitApparel.com, because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. Catch you in the next video. Chris is yelling work for it over there. Gunner, say roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah.